Hi, thank you for joining us on Become Involved, a series designed to focus on community boards and committees. I am Nancy Harrington, one of your seven Merrimack Town Councilors, and I am the liaison to the John O'Leary Adult Community Center. The two very important people with me today are the chair of the executive board, Larry Vajetsi, and the facility coordinator, Steve Dembow. Thank you both for coming. Thank you, Nancy. Thanks for having us. Great. Now, Steve, I'd like to ask you a question to start yeah. off. Can you tell me about the O'Leary Center, the building? I know you've been involved with the building and know a little bit about the history. Well, uh, I've been involved for 21 years, and um, uh, the building has a lot of history in the town. Uh, it was originally built in either the early 1900s or 1860 somewhere, depending upon what material you read. It was built originally as a two-room schoolhouse, dubbed Schoolhouse Number 9. And um, it served the needs of uh, students from grades 1 through 8. But by the year 1948, several other schools were built around town, so it served only the 8th grade at that time. Its last use as a school was in 1971 when the superintendent's office moved across the street to the school complex. And then at that time, uh, the building was uh, converted to um, the police station, uh, which was in existence at that time when I moved to town in 1979. Outgrowing that facility, they moved across the street to the town hall complex on the first floor until that uh, space became unusable for them. So they moved to the present building where they are today. When the building was finally vacated in the early 80s, uh, some of the town's folks uh, decided that it might be an appropriate uh, use for the building to convert it into an adult community center or something for a place for the seniors to recreate, to meet, to have social functions and so on and so forth. So uh, a group of uh, citizens who represented various fraternal and civic groups in town, notably one of them, John O'Leary, who was a member of the Rotary Club, um, got behind this initiative and uh, with the help from a lot of the other organizations in town, uh, got a proposal put together. The citizens voted upon this uh, idea and the funding was put in place for an expansion, which took place in the early 80s. Uh, and at that time, uh, it became a meeting place for uh, various groups, such as the Merrimack Senior Citizens Club, which had been in existence prior to and meeting in various other locations. Uh, also, the Rotary Club became a tenant, as was the Meals on Wheels program at that time known as St. Joseph Community Services. Uh, since that time, the building has evolved and grown, and uh, we have had a variety of tenants in the building, both on a recurring and a one-off uh, basis. Uh, it is available for rent when it's not used by either the seniors or the other contracted tenants who are in the building, um, and it's uh, an excellent place, local, and uh, recently refurbished and brought up to code, up to, up to I should say, up to state uh, with um, all kinds of amenities to uh, help us deal with the present coronavirus situation uh, in terms of sanitation and cleanliness. Excellent, thank you. Larry, can you tell us a little bit about the executive board, what, what it does, what's its purpose? Sure, Nancy. The executive board According to our constitution bylaws, it allows for 18 members of the township to volunteer to run the actual organization, the John O'Leary Community Center. The town of Merrimack owns the actual building and the facility and the property around it. We manage the building and the activities within it. As Steve said, we, do, um, we conduct a lot of functions. We have our regular groups such as a Rotary and other groups, um, Meals on Wheels, meet there. We also do one-off functions like weddings, um, baby um, baptisms, showers, things like that. Our board of directors meets on a monthly basis. Uh, we go over the business of what's going on with rentals, the condition of the building, anything that we have to do with the town. And let me just throw in here, it has been a great relationship with the town of Merrimack. It's a great partnership. We truly enjoy working with everybody and with you. But the, again, the board is a group of volunteers. Thank you, thank you. Larry mentioned this partnership, if I may, and indeed it is a partnership. Uh, without the assistance from the town in terms of uh, helping us out with the subsidy along the way as we uh, go through each fiscal year, the board has encouraged uh, the adoption of means by which we can become more and more independent. And through 
uh, very opportune rental functions and, and events, we generate income and uh, that is used to pay the operating expenses of the building, the utilities, the, uh, the furnishings and all the stuff inside the walls. Uh, the town does support the building to the extent of the fiscal plant and, and the structure of the building and so on. But it is a definite partnership and we really could not be uh, able to operate this building without the support of the town. Excellent. Now, Larry mentioned about rentals. What kind of rentals are involved with uh, the building? Well, uh, if, if uh, they are appropriate and, and legal, <laughs> we're happy to host uh, events that, as, as Larry mentioned, uh, vary anywhere from, and we've had over the years, um, all kinds of uh, family get-togethers, gatherings, anniversaries, weddings, um, sweet 16s. Uh, the Rotary Club uh, has been a, had been a tenant for many years. Uh, we have a very vibrant uh, group of uh, folks from the Alcoholics Anonymous Bedford Merrimack uh, Honesty Group, which meet there on Sunday. Um, Meals on Wheels has been a tenant since the very beginning, and it served. We have a kitchen that they utilized for preparing, uh, or I should say, packaging prepared foods that come in from a caterer, and then they're distributed out to the uh, to the town by volunteer drivers. Um, We've had but a drive, they, but a lot of the community members can rent the building. Oh, absolutely, okay. sure, yeah. Um, For individual uh, events, whatever. Okay. Yes, and I fund those inquiries. Uh, so I should say, feel those inquiries on a regular basis. Okay. People contacting me either online or by my phone. So you would be the one involved in planning, getting information about, and in planning any event they might want to book with you? So in essence, I maintain the calendar. Okay. So um, in conjunction with the monthly tenants that we have, I'm aware of the spaces that are available, the dates mm -hmm. and times, and I'm able to uh, effectively uh, communicate that to a potential tenant to let them know whether or not uh, the facility is open for the time and the type of event that they like to have. Perfect. But Perfect. It's, it's interesting, Nancy, that as we talk about rentals, Unfortunately, we've go, we went through and we're still going through this COVID experience, but when everything was shut down approximately a year, 16 months ago, we used that opportunity to completely refurbish the center. Starting off with the bathrooms, we completely gutted the bathrooms, all new facilities, touchless water, new floors, new stalls. We then moved into the kitchen, replaced the flooring there. All the walls have been painted, new ceilings were put in, lights and sconces. To help deal with the COVID issue, what we've done is we've put in two air purifying systems that run 24 hours a day. The NASA grade air purification systems, working with the town and our um, health and safety inspector identified those. In addition, we also have sanitation, um, hand sanitizer stations all over the building. So we did use that opportunity to completely redo the building to make it that much more appealing for people that want to use the facility. Perfect. I'm really glad you brought that renovations up. It's taking advantage of a terrible situation. Oh, yes. But you did really great on that. Okay, to finish up, Larry, can you tell us um, any last words you'd like to say about the executive board or any needs that you might have? Sure, Nancy. As I mentioned earlier, our Constitution bylaws allows for 18 concerned citizens that are willing to help and volunteer to be on our board of directors. It takes approximately an hour and a half, at the most two hours a month. We meet on a monthly basis to conduct our business. If you go to the town website and look under the Park and Recs Department, you'll see a link to our website. In addition, if you're not comfortable with the computer, you can just go to our building and on the door is Steve's contact information. You can contact him directly. We do have openings. We're looking for citizens that want to get involved. It's a great group. I feel very privileged to be part of it. Thank, thank you. you thank you, Nancy. Again, thank you for joining us on Become Involved. As you can see, this is one board within the community that uh, we are helping to become aware in the community. And it's very important for you to have access. Again, the town website is merrimacknewhampshire.gov. And remember, we want you to become involved.